So what makes a balloon tire bicycle valuable? They were made generally between 1935 and 1955, and they have very fat wide tires. That's why they're called balloon tires. The first rule about having a, a male and female bike, a male bike is more valuable than a female bike in general. The second rule, particularly with balloon tire bikes, is what kind of accessories. The more accessories the bike has, the better. This one, it's got a male style frame, which is good. It's got the tank with a horn in it. It's got its original headlight. Now you could replace that with a reproduction light and you would not be doing yourself any favors. It has a truss rod. Now some bikes have a Springer front suspension. That would make this bike more valuable if it had a Springer front suspension, but it does not. These tires are not original. They're not even American made. They're made in Taiwan, and that detracts greatly from a bike's value. If you look back here, the chain guard is an original shape. It has some scratches, but that does not hurt at all. The bike has been used. It has not been touched up or repainted, and that's very important. The rack is still intact. The seat, the leather seat, looks terrible. It looks like it's falling apart, but that still adds a lot to the bike's value. Now, this woman's bike, we just picked this up. It's missing a lot. It's obviously missing the wheels. It's missing the whole crank area. But you can look, you can see some of the paint. The paint is really, really nice. We'll look at this bike in detail later. But this, even though it's a woman's bike, it does have a tank, that adds to value. And the paint is really, really good.